hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about how to get brands to work with you as a small influencer so um i'm kind i'm going to shout in this video because there's noises around so you guys should just ignore the noises and just pay attention to me so as you guys know i'm an upcoming influencer i have less than 1000 followers on instagram i have about 800 and something followers on instagram and on my blog i have like 200 and close to 300 followers on my blog on my um yes on my youtube channel i have just like 120 subscribers but then i still have brands that message me and actually want to work with me now the question is how how do i do so why does brands choose to work with me even with all this low following now the real thing is brands these days don't even pay attention to the amount of followers you have most brands these days want to pay attention to what you can do for them and to actually see your authenticity and see if like if you can actually influence people one thing is having the following and one thing is influencing so today i'm going to be telling you guys my tips and tricks or maybe just what I do that actually attract brands. So I'm going to share with you guys five things you need to do if you want brands to notice you or to work with you. So the first thing you need to do is finding your niche. Now, what is your niche? A niche is just like your aspect of concentration, what you're actually doing. So you have they have niches like beauty, my beauty and lifestyle influencer. There are aspects like beauty, travel, lifestyle, food and lots more so now the real question is what is your niche if we don't know your niche and i don't think you should be an influencer to start with like okay if you okay let me say you're a beauty influence okay you can't have like you can't have like five niches at the time you can't be doing travel vlog lifestyle um beauty food and all the rest on your instagram or again on your instagram you need to like have what you do to make brands know what you are for. I think for making sense in really. I feel like the teacher right now. But that is the real thing. I'm a beauty influencer and on my page you just see beauty, beauty, beauty. You don't see me post I'm trying my best not to post stuff. Maybe post makeup pictures today and then post food tomorrow. And then just post the picture of a beautiful island. I'm trying I'm like distracting brands. Maybe once you get bigger you can actually post whatever they call to post but now that you are an upcoming influencer you need to post stuff that actually make brand okay let me say a beauty pr agent is looking for a makeup artist to work with you and then you want them to notice you you can't have like different pictures and then they'll get confused so yes you need to pick your niche either your beauty focus on posting just beauty pictures makeup pictures makeup products and all the rest you don't need to post stuff that actually confuse brands so the second thing you need to do so the next thing is keeping your page professional on your bio your bio is just what tells brands what you do so or what you can actually do for them so on your business instagram page I'm sounding like an Instagram as partner, but I promise you I'm not. I'm just an upcoming Instagrammer. But these are just things that I do there, and then I do it, and then I see improvements in what I'm doing. So on your build, on your page on Instagram, you don't need to post stuff like I love ice cream and long walk with it. You can just leave it there. So how is that the brand's business? On your personal Instagram, you can post that. I mean, once you get big, you can then post that. But for now that you are trying to build your orders and make brand notice you, you don't need to post all that. You can simply post stuff like, okay, beauty content creator. You can put your age. So why people put their age? Because most brands want to work with people with a specific age, maybe from 18 and above. You can put your location. Then you can put it for business inquiries. You can contact me, clicking the email. But nobody wants to know if you, if you love long walks on the beach or any of that. I hope you get what I mean. How you can also maybe know what to put on your bio is checking your, your faves Instagram bio. You can just see even most big beauty influencers these days don't even put whack bio stuff. They just go straight to the point, straight to business. Some people just leave their email address there and they're just good to go. So you don't need to put things that will make the brand not even know if you are actually a business account i don't know if you care what i mean so the third thing you need to do is keep it business focused 
Now, when we talk about keeping stores business focus, it's actually knowing what to post on your timeline or on your feed and what to post on your stories. Like I said earlier on, since if you are, I'm focusing more on beauty because that is what I do. So on my feed, I just post beauty, 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 makeup photos, makeup product photos, anything makeup, makeup, makeup. Then sometimes, you know, sometimes you really want to share your life with most of your followers, which is also important because your brand, they don't make you feel like you're a robot and you just be posting pictures of just makeup, makeup, makeup. So what I do is, maybe I go to a fancy restaurant and then I want to just take a picture of the restaurant. I'm not a food blogger. I'm not a travel blogger, so I don't bother posting a picture of the restaurant on my feed. I post it on my story. Now, Instagram has highlight features, so you can post most of your beautiful moments on your features. And then, if you want to post something that doesn't concern your feed, you can actually post it on your story. I know this sounds somehow, and it's kind of hard, but if you know x 3 d you guys should better check her out. If you don't check her out, then... So, um, when I checked x 3 d um, she's doing a kind of series where she talk about building your brand as an influencer and all of that. She also made mention of it. You can't be a beauty blogger and then you post food pictures or lifestyle pictures or fashion pictures. You're distracting brand. I know that sometimes you want to share your outfit of the day. You want to share the food you are eating at the moment. That is why you have your story. You can post also your story. You can post a video with a put in your story. You can post a picture of you lip singing to Nicki Minaj on your story. You don't need to post that on your feed. Maybe want to become big, like I said before, you can do all of that. Even if you check your favorite, if you check Nikki Tutorials, Minimal, Jeffree Star, they just go straight to business and put just their beauty pictures. You hardly see Nick, um, Nikki Tutorials lip syncing to Nicki Minaj. No, they don't do that. Keep it business because let the brand know that okay, this girl or boy is dedicated to her business, not just mix up her personal life. Try to be professional enough. You know, this is what I'm trying to do. So the next one is building your following organically so what i what i mean by building your following organically this is no brand want to work with you if you have a very low following and the worst part is having low following and having low engagement so what do i mean most big brands will either work with influencers that have like ten thousand followers and above but then most smaller brands want to work with want to work with influencers that has 500 to 1,000 followers. So these are the brands you should be aiming at as a small influencer. Don't be hoping to have brands like KKW or Kylie Cosmetics or Mac come to send you PR package when you have the 800 followers. It's not impossible if you get noticed and you work with Liquid, they could just put you there. But as a small influencer, you should kind of keep yourself low and then let God take you high. So what do I mean by this? Make sure you grow your following organically. I don't mean, don't do like for like, don't do, don't do sub for sub, don't do like for like, comment for comment, follow for follow. All those things doesn't work. So build them, let people want to click on follow willingly because they love what you do. They don't, you don't just impose it on them or force them to do it because that way you're not going to grow. If a brand is messaging you as a small influencer, they they are doing that because you have engagement, not because of anything else. You can't have 10,000 followers and have three likes. It doesn't make sense. So make sure you build your followers organically. The next question you need to ask yourself is, sometimes take a look at your feed and ask yourself the question, if you are a PR agent, will you pick this account to be your PR list? So if the answer is no, it means you're doing something wrong. You need to adjust what you do. So you put have different feed or, or different um, theme. So if it is white theme, white background for your pictures, it makes your page look more professional. And this is what you're aiming for. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is consistency. Consistency is key, and this is what I'm trying to do. I never really thought consistency is key. I thought this is what everybody just said. It sounds cliche, but that is the actual truth. I started doing YouTube consistently three months ago. And then I'm going like over 50 subscribers just by posting once a week, once a week. So yes, consistency is actually key. And also make sure you engage with the followers. Let them feel the connection. If they tell you, great photo, just reply. You look beautiful. What's the name of your eyeshadow? Just try to reply. That way you're building your engagement and people are going to notice you more. So guys, I hope this my tips helps you guys. Also one more thing. Um, make sure you just communicate with your followers. 
make sure you reply brands quickly and try to be nice don't just be snobby or don't just be anyhow just try to calm down and just reply brands i hope this video helps anybody wanting to start this influencer thing um i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give me a subscribe make, sure <laughs> make sure to subscribe like and follow me for more videos like this and i'll see you in my next video bye Pretty much.